Hey there everyone, so I was just checking up on my stock prices the other day which are not doing so well at the time let me tell you and then I thought to myself let's see what the world is doing right now and then I went on Twitter. Oh how naive I was to think that Twitter is gonna inform me on current world events or at least entertain me. But all I saw was people insulting people, cancel culture cancelling itself and K-pop stands who post K-pop videos on every goddamn Twitter post they can find. After spending 15 plus minutes on Twitter and losing all my brain cells, I told myself that I had had enough. So I did what any sane person would do when confronted with the same scenario, make a YouTube video about it. So here we are. Anyway, welcome to my channel everyone. Today we're gonna talk about the no man's land on social media, or Twitter if we're going by its more common yet nauseating name. I go to that website after a long day of work and exhaustion to check up what influential people think about current world events which need not only pertain to political news but also financial, economic and technical news and you heard me right the first time. I do it after a long day of work, not before because if I opened it first thing in the morning it would drain the life force out of me with its toxicity and polarizing thoughts. Everyone on Twitter thinks that they know everything about everything and that's what scares me. I know that everyone thinks that every opinion matters no matter how small and it does to them. You can't just pretend that stupid people don't exist. With all their brain power combined, they couldn't even run a small village in India. And you think that their opinions on topics that could make or break a country, heck even a civilization, should be considered without a grain of salt? Twitter has become like the global version of an open mic that everybody has an access to and everyone can say anything to provoke the audience into murdering each other over sensitive topics just by typing a few characters and without much consequence too. By studying psychology, we know that anonymity increases the chance of physical and verbal abuse exponentially and Twitter is a perfect example of it. Some other examples of causing ill will to people due to the fact that they are anonymous are websites like Reddit and 4chan, where many people are harassed and death threats are made up on a day-to-day -day basis and we can do nothing about it. Now, the main reason I wanted to make this video was because I wanted to address the fact that Twitter has gotten worse in the last couple of months. Everybody's writing dumb shit. I mean, they used to write dumb shit before, but the shit that they write these days are even dumber than before. And everyone is seeming to be posting stuff that makes you panic or tensed and I'm gonna tell you why. Our brains are tuned to pay attention to the negative news first. That's why many times you see news headlines that are more negatively inclined towards a topic or a YouTube video that has more drama in it. It's natural for our brains to focus on them more. Due to this situation that we're in right now, the media and the social media are bombarded with catchy news and events and at these times, even a small amount of stress placed on the wrong nerve can entice people to do catastrophic things. That's why we're seeing the surge of all the Karens that are, in simple terms, women who just can't seem to handle more stress in their life and are going off the handle at any person they can vent off their stress on. Now, Twitter was already a war zone before the pandemic, but now it has elevated to new heights because more people are sharing their thoughts and feelings on it, but most of the thoughts and feelings people are having these days are negative and stressful and so on. And so Twitter has become this nasty place right now, which many people are beginning to take a hiatus from for a couple of weeks or months now. Now, I'm not saying that all of Twitter is bad. No, I love seeing people like Elon Musk and Neil deGrasse Tyson making funny yet smart tweets. And let's just forget that ever happened, okay? Anyway, that was my video. Hit like if you like this video, dislike if you dislike it. This is Restless Broccoli, signing out.